So I know that some of you know uh, alphabet and some don't, okay? Yes, Mark Grant? Yes. Do you remember all the alphabet? Can you tell me what is this letter? S. It's in Russian S, but in English? What is this, Ryan? C. C. And what sound does it make? What sound does it make? This is a circle to put a sound in it. Sometimes K, but it, let's start with the easy one. If it's C, what sound does it make? S. S. That's right. But the letter C can make two sounds. Sound S and sound K. You'll be surprised. It does not make only those two sounds. Sometimes it even makes sound SH. Depend what is after it. So, and what is this? Do you remember? D. D. The letter D is for dog and C is for circle. And in those circles we put with you phonetic symbols. Say with me, phonetic symbols. Okay? And let's put here. Okay, Mark. Do you remember? Only Mark. What is this? A. What is It's A. That's right. Do you know what sound does it make? A. A. It makes sound A. As we have, so we're going to write down with your sound like this. In order for the letter A to make sound A, you have to have something magic. And one of the letters of these that you're going to study, they are magic. Definitely not this one. What is the name of this letter? B. B. And what, what do you think? What sound does it make? B. B. B, just B. Ba is already two sounds. When you say Baba, Babushka, so see, then it's second sound. You have to make only one sound in this case. B, say B, okay? A, B, C, D. E. E comes, and that's letter that can be a magic letter. It can be silent by itself, but it can make magic. And what is this letter? F. 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 And what sound does it make? F. 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 That's F. right. See how smart you are? It's F. And the last letter for today is G. 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 The letter G. G. And what sound does it make? What G. do you think? G. G. That's right. It can also make sound G. But today we're just going to learn the original sound G. Okay, so for the letter A, I don't recommend right away to study that it makes sound A, because kids have to know the condition. Under what condition the letter A makes sound A? Because total is a letter A can make five different sounds. So let's start with original, and that's why when we're studying the letters, we do not say apple or ant. We're saying angel, acorn, apron. Everything, all the letters. All the words that start with the sound A as original. Okay, so let's sing. Uh, at the beginning, level number one, I would recommend only to study up to the letter G and to read already the words and the syllables with that. Okay, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's right. And that's where we stop with you. And right away, out all only of this, how many letters on the board? Mm. Come on, seven. Right? seven. Seven letters on the board. Only seven letters, yeah? Out of those seven letters, we already will be able to make words and syllables. So let's start. This is a magic E. The letter E at the end of the word is a magic E. What is so special about that? It helps the letter, while well, the letter A, to say its name. A. It's going to say A. B. No, just sound. B. B. A. B. B. Abe. Abe. That's a short name for one of our president, who was number 16 president, Abraham Lincoln. But you also can say just Abe. A, B, A, B. Okay, now we have us use this word. 
Okay, again, magic E is the letter A, make sound A as its name. Yes, so let's read this. A. No, it's not B anymore. Aid. Aid. Okay, можешь мне, can you, can you look for me, what is this aid means? Because that's not the aid, the other aid is A-I-D, so which is help. But this one, aid, it has some specific meaning. meaning. I know very well this word. Yeah, you see magic. E at the end, what is that? Forming nouns denoting an action that is completed. Okay, so something that is completed, yeah? Okay. Uh, okay. Is it, is it like a suffix? Mm -hmm. It's a suffix. Okay, it's a suffix that helps to create nouns. It means something is done, completed. But we still can read with you. Aid. Good. Now let's read this one. Magic E, the letter A makes sound A as its name. Yeah, A. Ace. Do you know who's ace? When you can do something perfectly, it means you are an ace. And what I can see right now, that Mark becomes an ace in reading. Wow, it's incredible. Okay, who, is a, who wants to read these three words already? Who can do it by himself or herself? Can you do it, Amelia? Can you do it? No? Come on, Mark, let's do. A. A. B. Abe. Say A. Abe. A. D. Aid. That's right. A. S. Ace. That's right. Bravo. In just five minutes, you're already reading. You're genius. Fantastic. But we have with you one more word like this. It's going to be... A magic E. What it's gonna be? A age. age. It's mean how old are you, isn't it? How old are you, Mark? I'm six. You're six. And just in five minutes, I taught you already how to read these words. Bravo, bravissimo, Mark. Do you want to come and read all of those four words? Come to me. Come on. Let's see how Mark can do it. Okay, let's st stay over here on the side. E, B. No, not E. Remember, magic E, this oh. is... A. Uh-huh, A. B. A, T. A, K. Uh-uh. S. Uh-huh. A, S. Good. A, J. Bravo! A plus! You deserve the award. Sit down. Thank you. Emilia, do you want to come and do it for us? Come on, baby. Come on. Because I know that Ryan, too, you six years old still, Ryan? And you can read very well all of that and much, 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 much more. Okay? Come on, baby. Good. Bravo! Five minutes and we're already reading the words. Fantastic! You can sit down, baby. Okay? Give me five. You deserve a present, too. Okay? Now we're going to do a little bit different. Now we have going to have as you consonant followed by vowel A. And you're going to be reading just syllables. These are not real words, just syllables. Okay? And, guys, over here, the letter G is not going to be anymore making sound G. It's going to make sound G. So let's do this. This is G and sound G. Like this, it's G. Like this, it's G. So not anymore G. This is going to be K. And for the letter C also, it's not anymore going to be S. It's going to be K. Because this is a rule. If you see E 
after C, it makes sound K. If you see E after G, it's making sound G as original in the name. But if you see A after them, they change their sounds. G becomes G and C becomes K. Everybody understand? Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's start to read the syllables. And when we're doing syllables, we usually put a dash to show to everybody that this is not a real word. It's just a syllable. Let's do it. Bay, day, fay, j. Not anymore j. Remember, we said switch to g. Gay and k. Okay, one more time. Bay, day, fay, gay, k. Okay, who is ready? Are you ready, Mark Grant? Come on, let's try. We're gonna do in order. What is it? Gay. Gay. One more time. Gay. Why can the word game? We need to put M at the end and magic E. And it's gonna K. Okay, and K. Sanka, what's gonna be together? K. K. That's right. So here is a rule. Bravo, bravissimo. High five. Ten minutes. And already making great syllables. Sit down, bravo. You're gonna have a present from me. Okay? What about you, Sigrab? Come here. Come, Emily. Beauty. Okay, and let's read. B. Louder. B. What is this? A. A. Together. A. B. A. What is the sound? D. That's right, day. That's right. And this will change. Yeah, that's right. What is that? Yeah. No, not J anymore. It becomes G. Change to, to sound. K. K. That's right. Bravo. And we even learn how does the sound change. Depends on the letters that follows it. Okay? So sit down. Thank you, dear. So if C followed by E, it makes sound S. If C followed by A, it makes sound K. If C, oh, I'm sorry, if G followed by E, it makes sound D. And if G followed by A, it makes sound G. Gay. Bravo! What a perfect couple we have here. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And we're done for the first lesson.